Hi everybody, it's Chef Martin, and today we're gonna smoke some prime rib. If you have a special occasion coming up, there's a good chance you're thinking of making a beef rib roast, and it's easy to understand why. It's juicy, it's delectable, it's rich, it's just great, everybody loves it. But today, we wanna to talk about a way to do it a little bit different by smoking it. We're going to season this simply with salt and pepper. Really, that's, to me, the best way to go for prime rib. You can, of course, use your favorite barbecue rub if you like, but I really like to let the beef just do its thing with the salt and pepper, it's so good that way. No matter how you choose to season it, if you have a bone-in roast, make sure that you score that membrane that runs across the bones so the flavor can penetrate more deeply. To make sure that we get the meat temperature just right, we want to monitor it as it cooks. We'll use a leave-in probe thermometer, in this case the Smoke X2, to monitor the temperature as it rises. Our thermometer has gone off at 130 degrees. We verified that with the Thermopen 1. So we're going to pull this rib from the smoker right now and set it aside. We're gonna fire our grill up so it's nice and hot, and we'll sear it after that so that we can get that nice browning on the outside that makes it so good. We're trying to give it that sizzly goodness over a nice hot open flame. Once our beef has a nice sear on it, we're gonna take it off, let it rest for a couple more minutes, and slice right in. And you can see it's just juicy and pink and beautiful all the way through. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is a great way to do a rib roast. It's perfect and it's juicy, and it's perfect and juicy because we paid attention to temperature while we were cooking it. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you give this a try sometime. Uh, if you do, obviously comment about how it went for you. We'd love to hear about it. Until next time, thank you from everyone at Thermoworks and happy cooking.